What's up guys, this is Shaf from TechDroids and I've got a fun video for you guys today because we're going to be taking a look at Gamdis' Hermes M5 mechanical keyboard and this keyboard has a lot of great features, no doubt, but the sole reason it caught my attention was because it's available in white color and you, you guys know, if you watch the channel for any amount of time, if you watch my reviews, you know that I love tech that comes in white color, maybe phones or keyboards, mice, PC cases. If it's available in white, I want to try it. And I asked Gamdias if they could send this keyboard out my way for review and they were really kind enough. So huge thanks to them for sending this keyboard. So in today's video, I'll tell you guys about my you know, experience with this keyboard, all the great features it has and my full verdict. Should you buy it? Should you not? And who is it for? So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so let's start off with the design, the aesthetics, and the build quality of this keyboard. And you guys can see, it's a full-size keyboard, but it's still very compact. So even if you have a shorter size desk, it shouldn't take much space. And you can see you have your numpad as well. So if you do use that, you'll find it very handy. But if you don't want it, Gamdias does sell a 87 keys version of this keyboard. So if you want that, you can get that. Like, let's say if you're only gaming, you don't want that numpad, you can get the 87 keys version. Now talking about the design and the aesthetics of this keyboard, it looks very premium in my opinion. You have a mixture of white and blue keycaps and the base of the keyboard is brushed metal. And also around this keyboard, you have a aluminum, you know, chamfered bezel, which gives this keyboard a really premium look in my opinion. And I really like this. And it should go well with any white theme setup. If your PC setup is, you know, centered around white color, if you want all white accessories, this keyboard should fit in perfectly, no problem. And talking about the build quality of this keyboard, it is plastic and metal, so it's good quality plastic. It does not creak or anything, and it is, you know, pretty durable in my opinion. It does not flex, so you can, you know, put this in your bag and it can take a beating, and it should last you a long time. Also, towards the back, you do have your standoffs to raise this keyboard for a better, you know, comfortable, more ergonomic typing position. So if you want that, you can do that. And there's also rubber feet to give the keyboard some grip so it shouldn't slide on whatever surface you're using it on. And there's the cable. This is not braided, but I've been informed that Gamdis' future products will all have braided cablers. So this is again a normal TPE you know, style cable with a USB 2.0 port at the end. And it was you know, perfectly fine in my testing. I had no connection issues, no latency or anything, no lag delay. It was perfectly fine in my opinion, but I do suggest Gambias to use, you know, braided cablas for just more durability for gamers. Other than that, talking about the, you know, keycaps itself, these are again made out of plastic, but again, these are also really good quality plastic and they have this really nice printing on it, which doesn't seem to be going off. And it is really nice, they're transparent, so the blue LED shows off really well. And the switches are Gambia certified switches. There's not much information given on the switches, but I'm assuming these are you know, some sort of Chinese, you know, OEM switches, which have been used and they're decent. I have no complaints. They are pretty tactile. There's good feedback. There's enough travel in my opinion. And yeah, these are nowhere close to Cherry MX or anything like that, but the keycaps and the switches itself are really nice. And I had a really nice experience typing as well as gaming on this keyboard. And talking about some of the extra features, some of the good features in my opinion, which I really appreciated, you have a dedicated media key layout here. So you have your play, pause, your next song, as well as a dedicated music player key. So you press this and your default music player will open up. And other than that, you have inbuilt memory in this keyboard, so 32 kilobytes, which is not a lot, but for a keyboard to just store its you know, profiles and stuff, it is pretty easy. So you have five inbuilt profiles for you know, different, different kind of games. So you can use that by holding the FN key and pressing F1 till F5. And there's six LED lighting modes, so six LED effects. Also, there's five brightness levels for that lighting effect. And this is not an RGB keyboard, there's blue backlighting, but there is per key backlighting. So every key has its individual LED, and I really like that. And also the caps lock, the nums lock, as well as the scroll lock have their individual LEDs as well. So when you press them, you know, the light turns off. Let's say caps lock is on the light will be on on the caps lock key. So it is an indication for you that caps lock is on or off. And I really like this feature as well. It does not you know, take up extra space for LEDs. It just you know, integrates that in the you know, key itself, which is a really nice feature. And there's also again, anti-ghosting and N key rollover. So you can press as many keys as you want and they'll all get you know, registered. Also, this is a thousand Hertz polling rate and the keyboard's weight is around 797 grams. It is not too heavy or anything like that. It feels good, it feels, you know, 
premium in the hand. It does not feel cheap. And yeah, in my opinion, it's pretty durable. And again, this is a full size keyboard, but as I said, there is a 87 keys version available as well. And talking about my experience with this keyboard overall, I did, you know, gaming as well as editing, lots of typing. I used it as my main keyboard for about two weeks and I had a lot of fun typing and gaming on this. I played Counter-Strike, which is my favorite game, GTA 5, and there's built-in profiles for those games as well. So if you are a Counter-Strike player, there's a built-in profile. You can just, you know, press the FN key and F4 key and there's gonna be a Counter-Strike profile. And only the keys that are used Used in that game will light up so that's pretty nice in my opinion and the keycaps and the switches in my opinion are also pretty nice there's good feedback there's no, not too much sound you know it's minimal and the feedback itself is good so there's enough travel and the keys are tactile and yes I think they can improve the switches in the future there are some wobbles in the keycaps here and there but other than that it's pretty much you know really nice I have no major complaints about this keyboard and for this price under 4,000 rupees I think it's a really nice you know deal and you can find this you know in a retail store near you and I'll also leave some links down below for you guys to learn more about this keyboard huge thanks to you guys for watching this video till the end and also huge thanks to Gamdias for sending this keyboard out my way for review and yeah again let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this keyboard what keyboard are you using right now what brand is it what what model is it? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll reply to you guys. If you have any questions or queries, again, leave them down below. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And yes, I totally recommend buying the Gamdias Hermes M5. If you want a keyboard that's white in color, that looks really nice, has some premium, you know, looks, has some good features. And if you have a setup that's white, you know, themed or white centered, then you should definitely go for it in my opinion. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.